Hey folks, we are in Spain, in the south of Spain, in the province of Andalusia. And um, many of the rocks here are limestone, and we are currently also in a limestone area. So behind me, that's limestone. One of the things you immediately see is those vertical lines that, especially over here, those form when rainwater falls on the rocks and, and starts to dissolve the limestone. As you know, limestone is a pretty easily dissolvable rock. And so you get those sort of drip, drip lines. Uh, at the same time, you see the horizontal, much larger uh, yeah, lines, I guess. Um, and now I'm going to turn you around so you can see an entire landscape build up out of all those thousands of lines. I'm sure you can see it because I can see it right now. Um, so what we see here is uh, a very large, very thick stack of limestones um, that are almost horizontally layered here. It's, it's clearly not, not exactly horizontal, but, but it's nearly horizontal. And um, that allows <coughs> um, for weathering to proceed in a fashion that shows those horizontal layers. So why are there some layers that we now see so clearly? Why do those dissolve a little bit better than the other ones that are still sticking out a bit more? It has to do, um, usually at least, with uh, a little bit more clay in those thin layers of limestone that then dissolve a little easier and you know, make, the, make the cut in the rock. Um, as you know, limestone, the sedimentary rock, is a submarine deposit, um, clear water deposit, and um, occasionally there is a little bit more clay uh, in, in that deposit and when that solidifies, when that lithifies, becomes rock and then weathers, you'll find it weathering a little bit faster than, than the more pure limestones. So if we get that as a process, then the question is now one about history. Why do we have so many, and in some cases rather regular, over here especially, why do we so regularly have layers that have a little bit more clay versus layers that are more pure limestone? Um, and the answer is global climate change. Not the kind that we're talking about these days, the, the human caused climate change. But um, in these cases, these rocks are from Jurassic age. Um, you, you are very likely, almost, almost certainly looking uh, at climate changes that cause a little bit more sediment to be eroded off the continents of the time, reaching the oceans just a little bit further down, just a little bit deeper causing the limestones there to have just a little bit more clay. We're not talking 20% clay in those layers. We're talking 3% perhaps instead of the 0 to 1% in the more solid um, limestones. So through the ages, we've had periods where there was more sediment coming off the continents, more clay, I should say, sorry, and less clay, and more clay, and less clay, and more clay, and less clay. And I'm going to do this 30 times, so bear with me. More clay, less clay, more clay, etc until you build up this entire stack, which then gets later gets uplifted and, and now is being uh, weathered um, in this landscape. Um, if you want a term that relates to this uh, sort of cyclical climatic change that has happened clearly dozens of times here, you should look up Milankovitch cycles. And as you do that, and as you find out about uh, Milutin Milankovitch, you should probably also uh, realize that everything he calculated he did by hand with a pencil and an eraser So with that one sentence, I want you to go look up my Luton Milankovic and I want you to go to Spain the next chance you have. See you